JC definitely feeling pretty warm out there today. It is quite a bit warmer today, and especially in some of those areas that saw a lot of clouds yesterday. Sunshine across the entire viewing area this evening, but temperatures are running close to 90 again. So again, 90 degrees in Carbondale. The dew points are up into the mid 60s, which is pretty seasonable for this time of year. And then those temperatures across the entire viewing area running very close to 90. We do have Eddyville in the mid 90s at 95, Dixon Springs at 93, 88 in Mount Vernon, and then Cape Girardeau and Poplar Bluff both holding on to 90 degrees. So no doubt about it, it's feeling very warm again. But we are tracking a cold front. That cold front is expected to arrive by the time we get to tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's still not looking like it's going to bring us very much rainfall, but it is going to lead us to feel like fall this weekend. We're talking about a pretty hefty temperature drop by the time we get to the weekend. That doesn't last either, though. We're kind of on a roller coaster ride. We'll start to see a warming trend as we head into next week. As of right now, not a whole lot to talk about, of course, here at home, but that cold front is just off to our north and west. That front is going to be working its way in throughout the day on Friday. So today we're going to continue to stay quiet through the evening. We can't completely rule out a stray shower overnight, but I think that chance is pretty small. That better rain chance is set to arrive with that front as we head throughout the day on Friday and by better rain chance, I do think it's still looking very isolated and unfortunately not all of us will get to see some of that rainfall. So it'll be very spotty. That best chance for rain looks like it'll be across parts of western Kentucky, but even then it won't be much. This is a look at that rainfall projection for the next three days. So for when that cold front comes through and we're talking about most of us, of course, staying dry and a lot of us seeing under a tenth of an inch of rainfall. So definitely not enough to help us with some of those drought conditions. But if you do have plans to be out, it never hurts to have that storm track three up around. You can track those showers, of course, right there in the palm of your hand. Temperature wise, it's still warm tomorrow morning. We will wake up to temperatures in the upper 60s by lunchtime, about 80 degrees and then mid 80s for highs. As that cold front comes through, we will also see that wind shift out of the north northwest and we'll see a breeze close to 10 miles per hour. So overall, not a bad day. We'll really start to see that push of drier and cooler air by the weekend. So by Saturday, 73 degrees for that high temperature by Sunday, 75. Enjoy Saturday, Sunday and Monday because by the time we get to next week, we are going to see things start to heat back up. We'll be climbing back up into the upper 80s. So all the more reason to enjoy this tease of fall weather. Those overnight low temperatures, both Sunday morning and Monday morning will dip down into the 40s. So that may have me breaking out either a jacket or a hoodie. Yeah, Definitely. sounds like a good idea. Definitely yeah. turn up the heat in the house too, probably overnight <laughs> right. those nights. Yep. All right, thanks, JC.